Hi, welcome to my uh, Lionside Southeast YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, um, and returning visitors, welcome. Um, this video is going to be something of an experiment that I'm trying out. I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite locations on the Great Eastern Main Line, uh, give you some idea of um, what you could find and uh, the kind of traffic you'll see. I'm going to be looking at uh, locations around the Whittam area. Um, the first one is the uh, footbridge in an industrial area just north of Whittam Station. So I'm just going to set off now and uh, I'll talk to you again when I get there. Okay, we've arrived at the footbridge at Whittam. Um, if you are travelling by car, you need to come off at Junction 22 from the A12 and head for the East Ways Industrial Estate. Um, it's not very far from the A12, so it's uh, pretty easy to find. Um, hopefully this will give you some idea of what the area looks like. Um, where, the, where the little heart is, that's where we are at the moment. Uh, right next to the line. You can park right next to the line because um, the uh, road in the industrial shape runs right next to it. So this is the bridge itself. Quite a substantial structure as you can see. It's a Saturday today so the road is pretty quiet. On a weekday there'll be uh, a lot more parked cars along here and there's also a normal normally uh also there's a normally a burger van parked next to the bridge where you get refreshments so it's uh, quite useful This is looking southwest from the uh, top of the bridge. This is probably only a really decent shot from here. Quite backlit at the moment. You really want to be here earlier in the day, especially in the winter months. It's about 11.30 at the moment in November. So the sun has moved down quite a lot. I wasn't going to come here earlier, but it was quite foggy this morning, so it wouldn't be much point. But it seems to have burnt off. It's quite a nice day now. You can just see uh, Whittam Station in the background. It probably would be uh, possible to walk from Whittam to the footbridge. Probably about a quarter of a mile, something like that. This is looking pretty northeast uh, down the ramp. There isn't really much of a southbound shot here. Um, we'll walk down the bottom and have a look, but I don't think it's that great. Right, we're at the bottom of the ramp. Um, you can just about get a shot. You poke, there's a gap in the uh, railing, you can poke your camera through. Mm. There's a bit of nice autumn colour here at the moment, which does add something to the shot. So I don't think it's that brilliant, but you might want to give it a go while you're here. Okay, we've arrived at Crane's Lane. So we're going to need to walk along the footpath and later back to London to reach the footpath that leads to Snivers Lane foot crossing which is the next location I'm going to look at.
Right. You know after very noisy A12 on the footpath heading towards the foot crossing. And you see you do get a view of the line as you're walking down the footpath, but not very good for photography really, as you can see. Okay, I've walked to the end of the lane and you can see the foot crossing is in front of you. Here's a view of the line from here. You can get shots. It's not, not too bad, especially this time of year. Only for southbound workings. This is the foot crossing itself. And this is looking north towards Ipswich. Uh, pretty reasonable shot for southbound walkers. You do get a shadow from the tree, but I don't think that's too bad. And these blocks weren't here last time I was here. I imagine they have to come off for the old foot crossing. I don't know whether they're going to stay here, but they do you provide a useful platform for um, northbound workings. If you're staying on top of them, you can see the old fence, it's quite useful. Yeah, so I'm standing on the blocks, and this is looking south towards London. Or if you just stand next to the fence itself. Not a bad shot. Well, I hope this uh, brief introduction to a couple of the locations along the Great Eastern Bay Nine has been of interest. Well, if you do come up this way, at least you'll have some idea of the, some of the locations you might want to explore. I would like this to be a continuing video series, um, exploring some more of the uh, locations along the Great Eastern and uh, hopefully other lines. If you did find this interesting, uh, please uh, leave a comment below and let me know. Or if you thought it's a complete waste of time and you don't want to see any more, equally you can say that as well. And I'll, at least I'll know not to bother. <laughs> but anyway, um, hope this has been of some interest and um, hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.